SCP-019 Monster Bowl Object Class Keter Special Containment Procedures SCP-019 is to be kept on a wide grate in a 3 inch to 3 inch to 4 meter reinforced concrete room installed with an incinerator. The room is to be kept at 0 degrees Celsius when incinerator is not activated. An observation chamber separated by a plate glass window is to be used for constant observation of SCP-019. And if, when specimens of SCP-019-2 are observed, the incinerator is to be activated. In the event of an outbreak of SCP-019-2, ordinary firearms are successful in terminating individual specimens. Although, in the case of swarm level outbreak, flamethrowers may be more effective. SCP-019 should be kept in a vertical position at all times. Description SCP-019 appears to be a very large ceramic vase, 1.8 meter in diameter, at the mouth and 2.4 meter high. Style and decoration indicate that it was created in classical Greek, although conclusive dating is impossible, as the surface is entirely unbreakable by any known means. If a successful method is discovered, SCP-019 is to be destroyed with prejudice. Periodically, entities emerge from SCP-019. Collectively, these are known as SCP-019-2. The entities vary in many aspects, but tend to be small, vaguely humanoid, and extremely hostile. They are often choose to attack with teeth or claws, although fairly delicate. They are reasonably strong and pose a considerable threat in large numbers. When kept at zero degrees Celsius and at totally rest, entities will emerge from SCP-019 at a rate of approximately one entity per hour. The following traits are known to affect SCP-019-2's manifestation rate, movement of SCP-019, threat to SCP-019, extreme temperature highs and lows, sudden shift in surrounding environment, introduction of objects or organisms to the inside of SCP-019 known as to cause a flood reaction, traits that may or may not influence SCP-019-2 manifestations rate. Presence of a human life near SCP-019 Current weather patterns Specific individual near SCP-019 Some individuals seem to affect SCP-019-2's emergence rate more drastically than others. In addition, comma, tipping or tilting of SCP-019 will create a reaction as though it was previously filled with an SCP-019-2 specimens. Although viewers looking to SCP-019 from above will merely observe a dark hole. Due to the production rates of SCP-019-2, when the object is distributed, measurement of the internal cavity is difficult, but it is suspected to be inconsistent with outside measurements. Thanks for watching the video. Make sure to like the video and subscribe to our channel. It keeps us motivated to make more videos.